Alright, today it's going to be this very beautiful, smoky, burgundy red eyes with kind of pink, natural matte lips. I really, really enjoy with looks like this when your eyes look a little bit more luscious. <laughs> And uh, if you wanted to see how I create this look, keep watching the tutorial. I already apply our Illuminate Me uh, Illuminator uh, on my face because I want a little bit dewy finish. For today foundations, I will gonna use Estee Lauder Double Wear mixed with NARS Sheer Glow. Heart Candy Kaplama Flush. I already done my eyebrows off camera because if I do that on camera, it's going to last me for 10 minutes. I will gonna set my under eyes with combination of Ben Nye Super White and um, uh, Estee Lauder Eclat, something like that. And I will gonna set that on my under eye. The rest of the face I will gonna set with this by MAC. This is in the Lian collection and it's a magically cool uh, liquid powder in um, Trust and Light. And because I'm going with more dewy finish today, I will gonna set my makeup with this because this gives a little bit dewiness on the face. For contouring, I'm using uh, by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using this color right here to contour a little bit my face. Contour the cheeks. I want to go into kind of a little bit rounded shape because like that gives me a little bit more lift on the cheeks. To warm up the entire face I'm using this bronzer by Dior in shade Honey. Very on my cheeks. Oh, I put a big brush. I'm using blink tie, blank tie by Mag all over the eyelid. This color, uh, color is this uh, by Mag. It's a wedge. It's very good above the crease to the brow bone, but not directly into the brow bone. Post pastel, but I will gonna put a lightly because this is so pigmented color and you don't want that very harsh reddish tone into your crease. Just be gentle with this eyeshadow. Back color, I will gonna use just this one by Urban Decay Basics palette, and I will gonna put that right here. But this is so pigmented, you need to put a little bit and blend further away. I'm using the same brush because it's more easier for me to use a blending brush and kind of goes nicely and smooth. Now is a 
fun part this is a rose wood by gosh and it's kind of loose eyeshadow pigment but it's so pigmented and also be careful when you use loose eyeshadows because you can get a fallout uh, the crease but not too much just a little bit to not have harsh lines between to be all smooth out and smoked the next one is even more beautiful it's a red with gold reflex just look at this I need to zoom look at this to give a little bit brightness and a reflex Whipped cream by NYX it's going under my brows So I'm gonna place that into the corner right here. I'm gonna pack that color and kind of a little bit blend into the corner right here. Pencil brush and I'm gonna put it first wedge. Then post hassle, which is the red one, close to the lash line, I'm gonna apply black. I'm kind of a little bit smudge, but not too much because you don't want to get like too much darkness underneath. mascara this is by Bourja I love this mascara this is the best mascara I think in my opinion I'm gonna using this by Ardell and it's natural uh, 105 in black right now I'm gonna put in waterline black eyeliner I'm using this by A1 it's the best black eyeliner for waterline so they put like five days so it's time for highlighting and I will gonna use this NYX eyeshadow for my highlighter this is girl talk talk and it's a beautiful shimmery eyeshadow amazing eyeshadow and I'm gonna use right here Because this has like pink undertone, it's perfect for today. Our line lips with mix nude pink lip liner and I'm gonna use Lovely by Anastasia Beverly Hills it's perfect uh, color match perfect with this uh, like burgundy a reddish look 